Good morning and welcome back to The Core Connection. I'm Mira Rubin here with you on Enlightened World Network. Let's just start our time together by taking a few seconds to connect and let's take a deep breath in through your nose, hold it gently, and as you release it, just let go of any tension in your body. Release your back and your neck, your shoulders. Take another deep breath in through your nose. Hold it, and exhale with a sigh, releasing any re remaining tension. Just relaxing, feeling yourself be present. Let's gently press our palms together and rub them, feeling our fingers against our palms and feeling ourselves come present to our bodies. And welcome. Let's talk about balance. I've been thinking a lot about balance and what it means and how we relate to it. So uh, balance, uh, can and I've spoken about this before, but I'm just digging into it a little bit more deeply. Um, I I think about the willow, you know how the willow bends with the wind to accommodate and um, to respond actually to the wind, and and yet it still has its central central place of of stillness. Uh, so there's the balance between polarities, balance between um, movement and stillness. Uh, I think that balance is not a place of stagnation. Balance is responsiveness, uh, being present enough to respond authentically rather than react. So a place of balance is a place of, of um, wholeness, I think, in the core. When we're, when we're present to our center, then when there are events happening around us, we can respond appropriately to those events out of a place of balance. Rather than, um, there's also this vision of balance, somebody on a tope that's wobbling um, and, and, you know, tension. I, I think that that's actually not the place of, um, I, don't, I don't think that that's actually balance. I think that's tension. So um, moving in and out of the, the motions, there's a fluidity uh, that is different from the tensing and the bracing of um, trying to protect and defend ourselves against a circumstance or an onslaught of information or, or experience. So um, in, in feeling into balance for yourself, Find that place, just take a moment to breathe into your center and just feel, feel that place of stillness that I, paradoxically allows you to move in response to, um, to gently flow with the, the, um, demands or requirements of the moment or the requests of the moment. Let's think of it that way. So as we center into our core through the breath or through feeling our feet, there's, there is a place of stillness that you can access. And that stillness, again, allows the fluidity to be responsive to the moment. And so why, why bother with balance? You know, um, I think balance is, is sort of mediating between extremes. There's so much going on 
right now. There's so many polarities. There always have been so many polarities, right and wrong, good and bad, um, rich and poor. Uh, we think often in terms of polarity, uh, but all of those polarities are based in a notion of separation and difference. And if we can if we can find that place of unity, that is where balance resides in, in the unity of those polarities. So um, from, from a place of balance, we can entertain the, uh, the, the extremes of the world more uh, fluidly, going back to fluid. So the invitation here is to find, find what it is to be in balance. And actually it occurs to me, you know, it's um, balance is not a static state. So it's being out of balance uh, continually on rebalancing, out of balance and rebalancing. It's kind of like the um, heat seeking missile, you know, or the, or the, or uh, an airplane constantly course correcting to get to the destination. So here, uh, what we're doing is we're moving in and out of a state of balance, but with a fluid um, movement that releases any resistance. So maybe that's what balance is, um, is, is a lack of resistance where we're at, like the willow, the willow can flow with the wind. So as we release resistance, we find a greater sense of balance and peace. And what does it mean to release resistance? Well, um, we all have ideas, we all have our beliefs, and maybe the less identified we are with our emotions, with our beliefs, with our um identities, you know, the, taking on all these things as uh, things that define who we are. If we allow ourselves to broaden our experience of who we are beyond those, those notions, those beliefs, those ideas, those patterns, and we expand to realize that we're more than that. We include all those things and we're more than and beyond those things, that that also can uh, breed a deeper sense of balance. So uh, I would love to hear your input uh, around this because I, I think it's an important an important concept to play with. What what really is balance? I'd love, love, love to be involved in a dialogue with you about it. So I'd appreciate it if you'd leave your comments and and uh, let's let's talk this through. All right. Thanks so much. It's Friday, so I hope you'll join me again on Monday. I wish you a wonderful weekend. And in this time of turmoil, finding balance is, is um, I think, a gift that we can give ourselves. So I wish you a wonderful weekend. Lots of love and compassion to you.